Be careful, Captain. Make sure we stick to the cliffs. We don't want to be spotted. As you will, High Lord. Sumerian ship. They have spotted us, High Lord. Curses. Should we report back to our portmasters? Yes. We better do so quickly. They should not be in these waters, especially at this late an hour. Should we waylay them to make sure they do not say anything? No. Continue on. Make sure no one reacts to the screams. Screams? All I saw was the broad side of a Sumerian ship, and then moments later my entire crew was killed by those monsters! This must be dealt with. Make sure he is given plenty of gold for his troubles. I would have him never work again. He lost many friends, yet maintained his wits enough to let us know what happened. Yes, Counselor. I am going to find us some help. We are out of our league. I shall ask my friends in Memphis for aid. Make sure the Queen knows of my whereabouts. Thanks for the ride. You are all true sons of Kemet. It is an honor, young lord. There are many of us that have never seen you as cursed. I know it weighs heavy on your heart, but know this. The sons of Kemet know a pharaoh when they see one. You shall be a fine leader one day. What was that about? Nothing much. Just paying respects to the men who brought us home. Nuns Grace. I can't believe I forgot to do so. Yeah, right. You probably wouldn't have, even if you remembered. No fair. Hey, guys. Well, Seth, get out of the water. What's up, sis? Oh my! Sobek! What are you doing here, my friend? What's he saying? You know we can't understand him. He said there were strange creatures roaming the Delta and an ominous aura of change. He wanted us to know as this change follows us like a cloud. That is quite cryptic. Yeah, I can't make any sense of that. Well, let's just forget about it then. You can't just forget about something like that. Yes, you can. Time to see Daddy. It's Father. Good day, little ones. Your father is inside awaiting your arrival. Do not speak until spoken to, little man. ex human Gib are negotiating, and you will not interrupt them. Don't let him get under your skin. Let's go inside and... 
You got a problem, man, too? I am not the little kid you remember. Both of you are being difficult. Can we just be friends? The only union I want with him is my fist with his face. That's enough nonsense for one day. Let's go inside before I give everyone a glare you won't forget. Yeah, whatever. Montu, why do you taunt him so much? <sighs> you know I hate kids, and arrogant ones vex me even more. Just remember, he is a prince. <laughs> prince or not, I only kneel to the pharaoh. Ah, uh, a lost cause. Listen, champion of Memphis. I cannot simply act like your power does not exist. I have seen the power of the gods firsthand. We must praise you and your family. You are not like us. Let them finish their conversation before we go in, okay? While I do not disagree that it would be wise to give the people something more direct to believe, the decision is not mine to make. You know that Ra hates the ancients and does not want us to be like them, demanding worship. The people of Kemet serve men, not monsters or gods. Geb, it is foolish to think this way. The people are fickle, and you know eventually they will find out the truth of the matter. And it will be handled at that time. I can only have people worship the life-giving waters of none but for so long. The cult is weakening by the day. I am sure you will find a way. You always do. Now is as good a time as any. dropping on us, young one. Don't get me wrong, father. I couldn't care less about the actions of the faith. Although, I would like to spar if you have the time. <laughs> Exum, it has been a pleasure. Allow me some time to talk with my son. The hall is yours, champion. Come here, son. Where are the others? They are waiting outside, father. I have heard some troubling things about your exploits in Kerma. Of course, this may all be a misunderstanding. What really happened over there? I fought Bess and won. That is all that matters. All that matters? It is a shame that you have become so bullheaded since your time with your grandfather. You know I disagree with him on this. It matters not. He is Pharaoh. Hmm. Wise words, this is true. Though I am still your father. As such, it is my responsibility to correct you when you are wrong. Yes, father. While I am disappointed in your lack of subtlety, I am more concerned with your inability to influence your sister. Your inaction could have cost the lives of thousands of citizens and start a war between our nations. It is my fault, father. I did not use caution, and it almost cost me everything. No matter what though, father, you cannot blame her for this. She is young and holds more power than any of us. She cannot learn here anymore. We are not prepared. This is true. I have given it much thought, and our set will be sent to Kush to train under Amesemi. What? Hmm, I thought they were outside, Osa. Depends on what you consider outside. Father, I don't want to be taken away like my brother. Asar was gone for so long. I don't want the same fate. My lord. 
Why do you interrupt my conversation, especially in the Temple of Noon? There is word from the front. Giant warriors have joined the Canaanite rebels in raids on the eastern border. Anthos is holding off the attacks for now, but the civilian casualty rate is shooting through the roof. He specifically requested your aid in this matter. Those giants must be the Nephilim. Ra warned them years ago to never cross the Shimmering Seas. If they are so bold to attack one of our cities, then something big must be coming. Thank you for your words. I shall meet Anthos at the front. Kemet will not fall today. Father, by giant's warriors, does he mean... Yes, it is definitely Nephilim. What's that? All that brutal training your grandfather gave you was so you could eventually fight and kill their kind. Well, if that is the case, then I should go with you. Go with me? Son, you are under house arrest until I return. Don't think I forgot about your antics. Father, I'm scared. I don't want to be sent away. Don't think of it like that, child. Your power is dangerous, but with Amesemi's guidance, it could be quite beautiful. You will not be going for some time, so there is plenty of time to think about it. I shall return in a few days. I leave you all under the watchful eye of Anur. Your word. My son will not be leaving the palace for a few days. Keep an eye on him and see that he doesn't. He hasn't been back from his training for long, so his subtility is lacking. Let Seth handle the emissaries and disputes while I am gone. As commanded. Your father's will is absolute. Let's keep this as simple as possible and just stick around the palace for the next few days. You might be able to sneak past us, but Nekbet is always watching. What business have you here, Minoan? I am an old friend of Anthos. Christo Navio is the name. I come seeking an audience with the Pharaoh. I shall confirm your story. Until then, you are not to enter. Let him pass. I know of him. The young Prince Seth. It is quite an honor to meet you. Thank you. I know of your exploits from my mentor. What is it you wish from us? While I do not doubt your leadership, young Prince, I cannot in good conscience share this information with you. It must go to the Pharaoh. He will be informed. Still, I should... Enough! Well, I guess I yield. I bring to you a request for your most elite warriors that handle matters involving the Ancients. I am sure you will give this missive to those experienced in the matter. Anything I should be aware of? All the information is in that scroll. I will take my leave, and await the arrival of your representatives in Akrotiri. The waters might be treacherous, so be prepared for a fight. What? Fool, give it back! No chance, little brother. I heard the key word that set me on my path. Ancients. What has the Pharaoh put you through these last five years? I understand you feel you are worthy to read this missive, but remember, we were ordered to stay in the palace. Orders are for followers. I will be Pharaoh. You will be dead before you become Pharaoh if you keep tempting fate. Huh? Alright, what is the extent of our tricks? You know nothing, brother. Oh, you might have suffered the most. Don't think we are not prepared as well. Fair enough. Then you should be thrilled. 
You fool! Hey! This is a grievous offense. The Pharaoh will know of your actions this day, young. Show mercy, master. The boy is still naive. Boy? The seal is broken. I shall leave this with you, sir. Let me know what the Pharaoh decides. Hmm. I shall. What's it say? We are done here. Turn all the others away. Yes, sire. Yes, sire? So, what just happened? Nothing good, I can't imagine. Long time no see, old friend. It's an honor, my lord. Cut the formalities. How has the last five years been to you, rhys -chan? Much has changed. I'm treated with respect now. Ever decide if you wanted to join the army? It's not in the cards for me, Asar. <laughs> All right. Maybe we will hang out another time. It's amazing how your overly aggressive attitude did not rub off on him. So are we going to talk about what happened earlier, or are we just going to keep ignoring the fact that we may be grounded for three lifetimes? I would like to know what's in the letter. You are usually not interested in troublesome things. What gives? Well, if Asara is interested, we should at least be aware. I'll never understand why you care so much about his opinions. All he ever does is get us in trouble or start fights. He also makes sure we're all safe, even at his own expense. Um, I am right here, you know. Well, Al said, today is your day because I will be discussing the details of the scroll. I must first explain why Tehuti was so angry. You guys have not been trained in the subtleties of politics, but I have extensively. A sealed message is only supposed to be opened by the recipient. It is a direct message between kings. By breaking the seal, you broke a sacred trust. Tehuti will let grandfather know, and then... Well, it doesn't matter. The choice was made. The situation in Minoa is complicated. Can we get this over with? A local fisherman reported that giant sea monsters destroyed his ship and slaughtered his crew. He also mentioned a Sumerian ship, though the details are vague. I will handle this. Listen, brother. Await Tehuti's judgment before you make any more decisions. It is one thing to slight him, but to slight Ra? Yeah, I'll probably wait. What's with the change of heart? It's nothing. What is your decision on this? He has broken the trust between empires. His destiny is his to write. If he is to be Pharaoh, he must suffer and overcome his decisions no matter the cost. You play a dangerous game, Pharaoh. As you have with me, Noon. Those eyes, are they a blessing or a, a curse? It is power. Power demands sacrifice. Now go. Tehuti!
You have disappointed me, child, but it is not my place to pass judgment. You are as stubborn as the Pharaoh. You are free to do what you feel is necessary. Ra permits all your future actions. Then I am to go? Remember, child, the fate of your kin is also in your hands. Your headstrong actions may lead to their end. I pray that you will act wise and with caution. Did you get the word? Yes, unfortunately. You don't have to go with me. No one wants to be around when Father finds out you disobeyed him. We are coming too. I've never been to Manoa. All that leaves for us is a way to get past them. Such is the fate of a watcher. Uh, Asar has caused nothing but trouble ever since he has returned home from his training. If he has been gone for years, and only recently returned after so much training, wouldn't he be a reflection of what he was trained to do? That... Hmm... You are right. Being a watcher, I always look for what should be and never what is. Asar is a reflection of his grandfather, and Ra has absolutely no restraint when it comes to accomplishing what he feels is right. As a Watcher, your job is to record the events of these children, not guide them. It is not fair for you, one with such foresight and knowledge, to manipulate the lives of mortal men. Hmm. You raise a valid point. Of course I do. Asar will do what he feels is right. Do not worry about it. Everyone is judged in the end based on the way they live their lives, not the way they were guided to live. <laughs> it is a rarity indeed for such a wise and just woman to even exist in this mortal world. Your words are kind. I will see if I can get Kansu to come home early this night. He hasn't spent much time with you lately. You are right. Let's relax for a few days. I'll tell Ra I am taking a vacation. Really? Hmm. hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Report! The fleet is nearly complete. We have a few hundred men still coming in from the mountains. It should take roughly three days before we can set sail. Good. Manoa has been too comfortable on their isolated island while real men like us fight against gods. We do not go to war because we want to kill our fellow man. No. We go to war to end all wars. The pathetic Manoans never once helped us fight back the waves of monsters and death besieging our great nation. The last nation of Greece, Sparta. Those who are too weak or cowardly to fight must serve those who will. We will put them to the ship and unite the worlds of men against our common foe, the Titans. And after their lands burn and the dust is settled, we shall recover our greatest asset, Minas. With that boy, even the strongest Titans will be vulnerable. This is why we must win! What news do you bring about Sparta and the South? 
They have built a massive fleet. How massive? Enough to crush any nation. So the day has finally come where we make our stand. We are not their objective. This state, they plan to annihilate Minoa. What must I do? Athenians! A great war is about to break out, and we will have some role to play. I do not know it as of this moment, but it is wise to prepare every able-bodied man for the battle to come. Athens will not let savagery reign! Sparta sacrifices too much humanity for victory! We are not the same! Like us, who rip the mic like us? Oh, yeah. You got a lot of power, but ain't got it quite like us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You and me, we not the same. You not the type I trust. No. Oh, yeah. You don't know what I done learned. You oh, finna bite my dust. Oh, yeah. Battle for Kimmy. You don't know nothing about it unless you win it. I lift the sand in the air and I send it at you. Know the spirit in the infinite. They call me Seth, merchant of death. They get to the building me up, then I Lego. You know my team, Rod, trust the King Rod till I'm ready to become the Pharaoh. Uh, yeah, but they won't judge me by my skin condition. I've been a victim, friends is missing. They won't treat me like an imposition. Till I flip the script, this is how I win. Uh, yeah, make them see disease when they look at their skin. Uh, I control the sand, I control your mind. See it then it's gone like a poltergeist. Oh, uh, yeah, working for the man, getting that overtime. Oh, uh, yeah, if you control your pants, he control your time. What I want when I wanna have it, I touch it, it's automatic. If it's in my mind, I get it. Unless it's divine intervention, representing for the women. Y'all know what I'm feeling. Independent, I'm really with it. If it's for the squad, I'm going hard. They think I'm like them, but I'm really not. My heart sets me apart, letting shots off in the dark, and I still hit my mark. The most honest thing I can tell you about me is that I'll tell some lies. Do what I gotta do to do what's right, but it's all a surprise. Don't be surprised. My tricks can seem deceiving. I'll have them all believing, depending on what you see is, I say it's who you believe in, squad goals be achieving, I'm a queen who won the kingdom, you locked up by your mind and I use my mind for my freedom. Time to see the plot goes, on next and lying only God knows, yeah separately we playing our roles, we'll come together and we squad goals, yeah come together we the squad. Squad goals, squad goals, squad goals, squad goals, squad This is enlighten me. They on my side. I promise you don't wanna fight with me. Don't do it. I could make it rain or I could make it lightning. Do on it. a different height and looking down is kinda frightening. Ooh. Hello, hi. hi, my name is Offset, but I ain't went off yet. So so sick, but I ain't coughed yet. Not a war I lost yet. Aligning with my destiny, defeating all my enemies. Control the breeze and only seek to keep serenity. Even when I die, I'm alive. In the sky, you might see me flying high I'm trying to save the world, but there's only one of me Don't underestimate my powers, but I swear I come in peace yeah, yeah, younger saw First in line to be the one in charge People's champion, I hit the scene And everyone applauds They know who my family, who my sisters and my brother are Any disrespect is going bad For anyone involved Anytime, any day Any problem, look it in the face Ready, willing to disintegrate You included if you went away I do what I gotta do I'm royalty, obviously Yeah, only a victim of pride the Only one that can come stop me is me I ain't get burned by the fire When everyone gave me the torch I'm staying the course Playing my part to Make sure that I'm someone that they can endorse Ain't no remorse, ain't with the talking So if it's a problem and I gotta solve it I came with the force, only the strongest survive And that's what you call it when nature be taking its course The squad goes, on 
next in line, only God knows. Yeah, separately we playing. Off.